Good morning, Don here. So yesterday the D9 arrived with UPS. Uh, unfortunately, um, during the ripping from the unboxing and everything, one part of the film is missing. That's where my web camera uh, caught the UPS truck coming and uh, now you can see how UPS handles the package Ah, etwas vorsichtiger, bitte. Hallo. Hallo, UPS. My Eingang is here on the side. Da müssen Sie klingeln. Da müssen Sie klingeln, damit ich aufmachen kann. So that was a nice little film. Now we know even UPS, you know, nah, what should we say? Everybody for a package that weighs so much. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, uh, let me do a small resume for the one how duplicated D9 Mark 1 all in all it was uh, super packaged there uh, everything was held in well however you could see that uh, on the outside where um, well let's say on the left and on the right, there are two stanced holes where one could grab that and carry it. Uh, one, how I think you need to make some kind of plastic insert to put in there so that that hole is reinforced because the carton, the carton was ripped on one side and customs well yeah I don't know how many times they open and close that box just for checking to see if there's anything being smuggled inside <laughs> oh man uh, the hot end is a MK10 um, bed screws uh, in in Facebook group there was one saying uh, that the bed screws wiggle wiggle uh, yeah bed screws did wiggle by me too and also uh, sorry yesterday I said uh, two on the left one on the right no that's not correct there are two on the left two on the right uh, don't know why I didn't see that right away uh, all you have to do is just use a adjustable wrench. Best thing. <laughs> Don't know why. I had a I tried a five, six millimeter, that was too small. Seven millimeter was a little bit too big. Uh one how you should go and uh put a Simple small wrench, yeah. What would that cost? About uh, 
five cent, ten cent. Let it let it cost ten cent. By five hundred ninety nine six euro dollar for this printer. Hey, that's okay. Uh, power resume function I have not tested yet. Uh, it does have ABL. It's ABL function. This is cool. I would like to show you this. Let me set the camera up so that you can also see the display. I do hope this will work. Let me turn the light down a bit. Maybe this will work. Nope, that does not. Okay, now you can read it. Go on level, say auto level. The head is moving. Okay. That's the first point that I'll check. However, before you can do this auto bed leveling, you do have to do a manual level. And then uh, with the manual level, you can go to all four corners. And then you, um, you push the gantry, you push the, the X gantry down until it is almost touching the bed and then with the four uh, set screws you can adjust the bed until you have uh, well let's say uh, paper thin and then you have to adjust the ABL a bit that is really easy to do the Mikey 3D from One How he has a channel and shows and shows you how you can uh, adjust the ABL. And when that is done, let's see if you if I can get this so that you can read it. I'm sorry for the camera shaking. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what. <laughs> This offset data means, does that mean here's three, that's two, and way in the back is one, and here is then compared to zero, 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 and uh, or I'm not sure, one, 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 two, one, three, uh, one, two, three, it did four points. But uh, zero nine zero 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 uh, one zero uh, zero 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 nine uh, data offset zero zero. I hope that is correct. I'm not sure, or good enough. Then after I. I've done this uh, resume film. Uh, I'm going to then start doing some test prints. But um, anyway, <laughs> oh man, the other the other film. I'm 
I'm really sorry about that. Unfortunately, uh, my colleague, he didn't have time. He was working and he was not even in Germany at the time. And unfortunately, nobody else who I could ask to come and uh, help me with the unboxing. And, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, 26 millimeter black ABL, and, yeah. Uh, dual C motors. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people, they were complaining about this in the One Half Facebook groups about T-slot versus V-slot. I'm not sure. I do not have any experience whatsoever with uh, T or V-slot. This is my first printer that has that. And, uh, well... This one that I have, it has T-slot. I'm not sure if that's going to make a big difference, how long the rails, how long it's going to have to be this, uh, until the time comes that I have to uh, uh, change the wheels. Oh, and the wheels, yeah. Um, okay, I'm not sure why. On both sides of the bed, the wheels underneath, they all four of them are eccentric. All four of the wheels can be turned. And I must say, uh, one how did a heck of a good job when choosing which frame uh, which frame size to use for this printer. There's 4040 all the way around and 2020 frame is only for the uh, Z bar and underneath for the Y carriage. Yeah. And the Y carriage, well, I had yeah, problems yesterday. Uh, the screws, they were loosened a bit. That is definitely because of transport. But that was no big deal. That was a easy process to correct and tighten up. Um, oh, and what is so cool, what is so cool, take a close look at this. Flexible and magnetic with build tech surface on top <laughs> that is cool and this is a uh, 1.5 or maybe 2 millimeter thick uh, you can see how flexible that is take a look See how flexible that is? That is a normal magnetic pad. Probably one of those magnetic pads that I used in, in the past for, for sign making. <laughs> yeah. But that is something that, uh, hmm, that is cool. And uh, <coughs> there is 
full-size SD card with the printer. There's a PDF file for the building. Um, this PDF file, I changed it from a Chinese name to a English name. <laughs> and then I will uh, upload that on the one how D9 uh, Facebook group. There are several they were asking about that uh, where there's no handbook to, uh, with the printer. Where is the, the building? I'm not sure. Either they were not looking close enough or yeah, maybe the file was missing on the SD card. I don't know. But I'm going to uh, post that on the one how group. And uh, ah, the card does eight gigabyte. That's more than enough. Uh, TL smoothies, uh, smoothers. I'm not sure if they are in there. And uh, what else? Uh, MOSFET, yeah. That's something, well, let's just say that would be, uh, that printer right now is too heavy for me to be moving around. And that would cost me too much strength moving that around, turning it over, uh, opening up the bottom to see if there is a MOSFET inside. Uh, I will check the information that I have and, and if it's not listed every, uh, somewhere I will ask uh, my friends at Wanhao uh, if there is a MOSFET inside and if they can send me a picture. Anyway um, uh, yeah, that is all what I have right now. Um, I will be doing some test prints, as I said, and I will, uh, yeah, I will film them with time lapse, uh, not with this web camera. <laughs> So it might be a one or another long film, but you can speed through it if you want, or I will uh, speed it up with a, with a video software that I have, and uh, yeah, I'll try something. <laughs> I'm not sure what. Anyway. Until the next time, wish all happy printing. And <clears throat> do press the like button, subscribe, hit, press the bell so that you will be notified every time when a new film comes up. And uh, with the subscriptions, you can help another small channel to grow. That would be great. Until the next time, bye for now.